Hello my friends, how are you doing? In today's video I'll show you how you can create this impressive animated morph timeline in PowerPoint. And by the way, today's video is inspired by one of my viewers who has posted a comment below my last video and asked me if I could go into more detail about creating morph animated timelines in PowerPoint. So here we go. And before we jump into the action, I just want to let you know that I have recently launched a second PowerPoint YouTube channel, Interstellar PowerPoint, so if you are looking for more ways to improve your PowerPoint skills, please check it out, link is in the video description. Alright my friends, so let's start with the fresh blank new slide. So the first slide is absolutely blank and here on the second slide I have collected a couple of photos or illustrations of phones. Link is in the video description if you'd like to use the same illustrations. And now for the first slide, let's set the slide layout to blank because we don't need any text placeholders. Now let's just activate the slide guide so that we can see where's the center of the slide. And now let's just fill this white slide with a beautiful picture and I usually go to unsplash.com and let's just grab this picture, link is in the video description, let's just right click, copy image and now let's just go to fill options and choose picture and click on clipboard. And this way we have pasted that beautiful picture to our slide. And the reason to paste uh, the background photo instead of just inserting a full screen photo is that later on we'll be inserting some circles and they will be using this slide background fill option which works only if the background is pasted, okay? And next let's insert a simple line here at the bottom right corner of the slide. You can hold down the shift key to draw a perfect line and let's make sure that we start drawing from the center of the slide and you can adjust the width of your line, I'm going with 15 centimeters. And for the line width, I'm using one beautiful point. Ok my friends, and now let's insert some beautiful circles and I have counted before that we need 7 circles in total. Hold down the shift key to draw some perfect circles, ok. And now for the height and width, I'm using 0.6 cm. Feel free to choose any dimensions that you wish. And now let's put this first guy here on the left side of the line. And now let's just hold down the control shift keys and drag the second copy to the right side of the line. That's super beautiful, so we have two circles, so now we can hold down control and shift keys and do a couple of more copies until we have seven circles in total. And now let's hold down the magical shift key and let's select all of these uh, circles. And now let's go to align options and let's choose distribute horizontally so that we have equal horizontal gaps. Ok my friends, and now let's just zoom in and let's actually type in some years into each of these bubbles. So let's start with 1980 and let's go to 2020. And for the font I'm using Hanson and the font size is pretty small, 5, ok? And for now let's keep these text boxes black, later on we will fill them with white, but for now let's keep them black so that we can see what we're typing in. So now that we have inserted text into each of these uh, bubbles, let's select them all and let's turn this uh, text white so that uh, text becomes invisible. But don't worry, later on we'll be applying some morph magic and everything will become visible. And now in the selection pane, let's make sure that we give proper names to all of these circles or ovals. For example, for this guy, let's start with double exclamation marks, oval 1. Now let me just copy this name. And in the same way, I will rename the rest of these ovals, just changing the number at the end of the name. And if you have watched my last video, Top 20 PowerPoint Tips and Tricks, then you know why I'm using those double exclamation marks at the beginning of the names. Okie dokie, so now all of these circles have proper names, and now let's make sure that this slide transition is set to move. And for the slide transition duration, I'm using 0.75 seconds. 0.75 okay so that's pretty fast and this is what we want and now we'll have to do some shuffling around so before that let me just make a copy of all of these bubbles and that line okay and now let's duplicate our first slide and now on the second slide let's select all of these guys at the bottom and let's just move them one step to the left side just like that and now let's duplicate the second slide and let's do it again let's select those uh, circles and that line at the bottom and let's move them one step to the left again. And as you can see I'm using uh, that original copy at the top as a guide 
that helps me to align those uh, bubbles at the bottom. Ok, so now that we're finished with moving those bottom circles, we can delete these uh, top circles, we don't need them anymore, we have used them as guides to help us align those bottom circles. Ok, so let's delete those uh, top circles and let's check it out on the full screen what we have created so far. And I suspect that all of these beautiful circles will be moving to the left side, just like this. And move transition will make sure that this movement will be looking smooth. So, let's check it out. Ok, it seems that everything is working according to the plan. So, let's keep on going. Ok, my friends, and now let's jump to slide number 1. Let's grab this circle, grab the corner handle, hold down Ctrl Shift keys and resize this circle from center. Now let's go to fill options, let's choose no fill. And now we should see our tiny text box inside. So let's increase the font size to 24 so that we can see the text, ok? And one more thing that we can see is that little line behind the text. So let's select the circle, let's go to fill and choose slide background fill. And this way we have hidden that line. That's beautiful. And now let's make sure that this huge circle is selected and we can hit Ctrl Shift C to copy the style of this huge circle. And now let's hold down Ctrl Shift keys on the second slide, let's increase the circle and hit Ctrl Shift V to paste the style. Ok. And let's rinse and repeat the same procedure for the rest of the slides. So just hold down Ctrl Shift keys to resize from the center and hit Ctrl Shift V to paste the style from the previous visible bubble. Alright, so now each of the 7 slides should have a huge circle with a visible year inside. And let's check it out, everything seems to be working according to the plan. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, and to make this timeline animation even more fun, let's grab a couple of phone illustrations and in the selection pane you can see how all of these illustrations are named. Once again I'm starting with double exclamation marks and adding a corresponding year for each of the phones. Alright, so let's select all of these phones and let's paste them into slide number 1. And now let's make sure that we bring all of these phones just above the timeline, looking beautiful. And now let's grab this 1980s phone, let's increase the size of it and we can rotate a little bit if we wish. And now let's rinse and repeat for the rest of the slides. And of course on slide number 2 don't forget to move all of your beautiful phones one step to the left. And now let's just keep on going until all of the 7 slides have phone illustrations. Ok my friends, let's check it out on the full screen, skadoosh! Not only the text boxes are being animated, but the phones are being animated as well. The power of morph transition, super duper awesome. And by the way, PowerPoint magic doesn't stop here, we can insert some hyperlinks as well. So let's go to slide number 1 and let's select this circle on the right. And let's add a hyperlink to slide number 7, ok? And now let's jump to slide number 7. And now for this circle on the left side, let's hit Ctrl K to insert a hyperlink and let's link it to slide number 1. And of course feel free to link up all of your circles, I have inserted hyperlinks just these guys on the sides. So once we click on this bubble, we jump to slide number 7. And once we click on this guy, we jump back to slide number 1. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And with that my friends, we have reached the end of today's tutorial. But don't worry, there are a plenty of videos waiting for you on my channel. And if you haven't seen the last video, top 20 PowerPoint tips and tricks, then I recommend watching that video. So, I'll see you there.